My name is Matt Smuckle. I'm the president of the Bimini Biological Field Station, more commonly known as the Bimini Shark Lab. The Bimini Shark Lab was established in 1990 by the late Dr. Samuel Gruber. And this was really a place that he wanted to have operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so that we could really immerse ourselves and fully understand sharks and the ecosystem, being able to be out all night, every day throughout the year, understand seasonality, and then have that continuing for decades. And that's really what allows us to understand and study these long-lived species. A lot of what we're focused on is to better study sharks and rays, but our hope with that is that we can actually get that information out there to the general public so they can better understand the role that sharks and rays play in healthy oceans. And then we do a big part of education where we're actually trying to train the next generation of marine scientists. The reason that we're so interested in understanding apex predators and the role they play in the ecosystem is number one, typically apex predators are low in abundance. It takes a lot of energy to reach that big size, to reach that older age, that's gonna be the biggest fish in the sea. And number two, they're, they're usually low density. Uh, so they can't handle the pressure that some of the smaller fish maybe can. And that's the reason that um, potentially, you know, disproportionate effort is actually focused on these big apex predators is they have a different disproportionate role to play in the ecosystem and, and how they're maintaining these populations. One of the things many people are fascinated to learn about sharks is that they're actually extremely intelligent. They can learn. They can learn the same way that mammals can. They can actually anticipate time of day, time of the season. Um, they can know when they need to go in to a refuge based on high tide, based on, on the day length, based on the day, um, you know, the sun, where it is in the sky. And they're just a much more intelligent animal than many people give them credit for. While diving, having reliable equipment that you can depend on is paramount you you often don't have a backup for a timepiece while you're diving if something happens to that piece of equipment that's your primary thing to know when it's time to surface what time of day it is you know potentially how long you've been down what your oxygen consumption is and it's extremely important to be able to rely on that piece of equipment while you're underwater Having the support of Braemont is it, hugely inspirational for the Shark Lab. It just shows the scope of people that want to help to push forward marine conservation.